this is the basic stuff that I have in what I call my long-term pack, okay? And the difference between I said a bob and a long-term pack is inside of a bob, it's got all the provisions that you need to take care of yourself for 72 hours, roughly, and uh, until you're rescued, okay? A long-term pack basically says that you're going to spend time in the wilderness and you're not expecting to get rescued for a while, all right? And you're going to go longer than 72 hours. You could be outside uh, on a hunt for a week. Um, by the way, I do have a large pack that goes along with this pack here. If I know I'm going to be out for a, a week or so, but if I'm just scouting around and I'm in northern Maine or New Hampshire, Vermont, these are the essentials I'm going to have, okay? So there's lots of different kind of acronyms that you can use. One of them is um, please remember what's first, and that would be, uh, you know, protection, rescue, water, fire, and food, all right? What I call the four horsemen. So in here, the first thing I'm going to need is protection from harsh days. So I basically have here just a top, okay? So all I got here is a top, all right? So that's going to take care of my shelter. I can also make the debris hut, snow cave, that type of thing. There's also natural shelter, but this is basically it, okay? Other than my EDC that I have on my side here, I'll also carry, um, you know, besides this lighter here, I'll have um, this other fire starting device that I use a lot, okay? You guys see this? basically going to send off some spots if I can get go here. There you go. Okay? And that's just for fire. We're going to need fire to make different elements, tools. I just have some uh, dryer lint in here and I have some cotton balls. Okay? So that takes care of shelter and fire. I have a few different ways to make fire. The more you know about fire, whether it be friction fire, percussion fire, combustion fire, the better off you're going to um, see if something doesn't work. As far as water is concerned, I have a way to boil water with this cup here. I have a way to carry water with this canteen here. And I have a, a water purification tube here, all right, that basically is just charcoal and such. It's a military version. And I have some water purification tablets. Okay, so that's taking care of my water situation right there. Okay, guys? Um, next thing I want to have is um, some kind of, and I have extra filters right here. Okay? Uh, something else I want to make sure I can do is uh, be able to signal if I, uh, if I need help. <coughs> I always have a, a red bandana. I have a small signal mirror here. And I have a small uh, flashlight. Okay? just to get me through, right? Uh, people always say, remember the rule of three, guys. Um, three, minutes with, three minutes without air, three hours in the elements uh, without any kind of shelter or clothing, clothing, three days without water, and three weeks without food. Well, let me tell you, that's a pain in the ass, okay? You're going to need food. I, I'm up here in uh, Northeast America, and there's lots of water sources as long as I can gather it and uh, filter it <clears throat> and boil it, there's water everywhere. So for me, uh, something that's very important is a way to get food, okay? So <clears throat> I always carry around just a little bit of food, some nuts and things. If I know I'm going to be out for a few days, I'll, I might bring some ramen noodles and different types of things. But for most part, the food I bring is for one reason only, and uh, that's to catch other food, all right? So, with that said, let's look at some of the weapons that we have here, okay? Um, this is really easy. I saw a guy, uh, um, a pastor on the guy throw this in his pack, so I just thought it was a great idea. It's just a rat trap. I have a little bit of peanut butter here to catch any kind of small uh, rodents. Um, and once I get the rodents, not only can I eat them, but we can use the gut to catch other rodents. All right, we have, um, I have a small slingshot here um, that you can also use 
You can put some arrows through that if you want to use that, okay? Um, I have a way to sharpen my blade, whether it be my um, little three-inch blade or some of my multi-tool stuff. So I have a small little uh, file in here that I can use to sharpen my blade. Um, I have uh, in this small container here, guys, it's um, pretty easy. I just have a bunch of snare wire. I got some pine pitch in there with some beeswax if I need it, okay? And that comes in this container. I can also heat things up in this container as well. So now I have snares, okay? So we have a rat trap. We have snares. We have a slingshot that I can shoot not only stones with but arrows with, okay? Um, and I have plenty of paracord right here in case I want to set up some kind of spring snares or uh, deadfalls, figure four deadfalls. So between what I have here, I have a pretty good source of ways to acquire food, okay? I have a way to cook food here and here, boiling water. We have ways to signal. Uh, as far as navigation is concerned, guys, I just have this small um, Kamanga military compass that I use, okay? What I have here, guys, is just somewhat of a homemade fishing kit, all right? We open it up. I have barber's lures, and this is the fishing line wrapped around the side here. So this is another source of getting food. <clears throat> Once we have fish, um, we get the guts. We got the guts of animals, so we can get some bigger animals like raccoon and possum and such of, uh, of that kind of caliber. Okay, guys?